actually gonna be doing more Crimson Vow seals than we typically do in a normal set because there's a good reason to actually practice sealed. And that is Vegas is next weekend. So we're gonna crack some packs. We're going to play our best. And I also have a how to build uh, a paper sealed pool video gonna I'm planning like the day before uh, the Vegas event so you guys can have that to look forward to looks like we've opened some really good cards look at these white cards isn't this judge just the other side is just nuts right yeah this is the instant win condition uh, this is the uh, a Johnny's pride mate plus plus and then we've got Edgar brides groom this is, attendance were fine. What does this thing do again? This thing was great too, right? So maybe like a red white with a black splash kind of, or just depending on how our black is, we could just, uh, you know, do the thing. This looks great. All right. So I typically just scroll straight to the multicolor cards, guys. Um, you know, they tend to be the strongest cards in the set, but that doesn't mean that's where you need to be, right? You try to build not around just bombs because you might not have colors to support it, but these are the signpost cards and they do tell you where you can start to look. And it does look like Edgar uh, Charmed Groom is just hands down the best multicolor card we have. So let's take a look at our other colors and see how deep they are. This is my first sealed pool. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, bear with us. Lightning Wolf, huh? Uh. The honeymoon was pretty good. Sure strike. Belligerent guest. These are some okay cards. I'm not seeing any like of the red premium removal. So that's fine. We have an abrade, which is good. Um, but we really liked our Edgar Charm Charmed Groom. So we're hoping black is supported. This card was okay. Draw two cards, lose a life, create a blood token is good. The Squire is fine. Do we have any any good removal here? Exploit, cool. Each creature ex exiles a card from their hand, it's fine. Doom to Center is good for exploit triggers. Persistent Specimens, pretty decent. Uh, Gift of Fang is fine. Okay, I'm not in love with our black. Hopefully our white is really good. Uh, I liked the Griff Rider. I don't like that white enchantment. It looks like we have no top end, which is a bit, a little bit sad, but we do have two Fierce Reputations or Retributions, which I liked. We have the Judge, the Ajani Plus Plus here. Um, no real life gain to speak of which makes a Johnny pride mate a little bit on the sad side, right? Maybe there's some lifelink in black. Not that I saw. We didn't get the, like the two, three flyer. There's a menacer. There's really not a ton here, unfortunately. Now I will say the charmed groom himself uh, makes one, one lifelinking vampires. So there is some there. Um, we have two evolving wilds, so th there could be a splash option. Black seems deep enough. Target player loses two life, you gain two life. Oh wait, that's not what I thought that was. I don't think we want to run this. We might run all three of these. Doesn't. Draw two cards, lose two life. Yep, this is what I thought that was. Vampire. Reminder, blood tokens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we end up with enough blood tokens, we will. But right now we're looking at black-white. So, you know, there might not be a ton of blood tokens, but we can add that after. Just put it in and then see where we end up. Pretty low impact. I like this adamant will has always been fine. A bear with some upside, double removal spell. This training card is fine. I like valorous stance, bear with upside. Yeah, that's a little light, but now that said, we have enough cards. So I wonder what the possible splash could be. Uh, we are in black, so we could have like a potential blue splash, green splash, because we have the two evolving wilds, so it's basically free. So is there anything here that we really love? We do have some zombie synergy, so 
We don't have a ton of exploit synergy though, unfortunately. A lot of this is double red. I don't know that those are worth splashing, right? Like the attendance is fine, but I don't think it's better than the retribution and the faith bound judge. And there's nothing really else in white. We have the radiant flame. I didn't actually see that before. We could be closer to like a Mardu build. Enters the battlefield, create a blood token. Whenever you sacrifice a blood, you may have. Okay, that's not great. Uh, we could like splash the abrade and the rendering flame, but there really isn't anything else that's like single red that really pushes me into this. Yeah, we might play this. We just don't have that much removal, so it could be something along these lines. Uh, we didn't have any multicolor red stuffs, right? Is there anything here? Enters the battlefield, destroy target, artifact and controls. That fights a zombie. Pretty situational. We're not playing best of three. Nothing here in green jumps out at me. I think it's just the removal spells might be worth running in limited. The other option is blue, which we actually had a deep blue which would put us in the Skull Scab. And then we would be looking at playing like the Respiratory Scab, not the Double Blue Diver. Wandering Spirit, like these are fine. Bounce spells, I just don't know that I'd rather splash them. We don't have a ton of Extort, so I don't think we want to play that. Let's get rid of some stuff here in the two drop slot. Training, Vampire Soldier. We have no life gain, right? Honestly, this might just be like a um, a lightning rod. It just gets eaten immediately because this card is very good. You lose two life, then gain a blood. This has life link. We got one thing. Our curve is so low. What the heck? It just stops at four mana. I mean, we, have, we have some bombs here, though. Radiant Restraint seems fine. We are kind of an aggressive deck. I'm wondering if I should just x -nay the red because we are so aggressive and just uh, go white. Uh, get the extra pump spell. And uh, just cut a land. Our curve tops out at four. I think I like this better than the red. If we had a couple of bigger creatures to justify, like, keeping the full mana, I think that'd be fine. But we've got some bombs, right, between Edgar and the Judge. Like, those are going to carry us. We've got some card draw. 16 land, I think, is fine. We're doing best of one. We have three things that will produce a lifelink, or sorry, two things that produce lifelink for the Ajani. And even if they just remove my two drop, I'm fine with that. We're pretty aggressive. Not a ton of removal, but got, got a couple flyers. We'll see. This can, this can do a thing. I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of bombs. We're keeping it. All right, well, we're getting back to the boards that are a little too crazy for me, but that's fine. It is sealed, yeah. I'm gonna be doing more seals than I typically do, just, uh, just in case. Uh, I'm going to be playing in the main event, so I, I do hope that that will be fun. Okay, we got a wolf. Swamp Mountain. Equal to the number of wolves and werewolves you control to target opponent. With toughness four or greater. Okay. Against these colors first, I'm likely to play the uh, Arch Ghoul of Thraben. Arch Ghoul. Jay, thank you so much. 43 months of support. Thank you, thank you. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life this turn, create a blood token, sacrifice them to transform it into a thing. You got it. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna play this, because it's likely to get removed. Ninjari, thank you so much. Another gifted sub. 
Thank you, thank you. We had a three land opener, haven't drawn another land, so we might miss four here. Hopefully not. How are you guys liking the set so far? This is literally my first time getting my hands on it, so I don't exactly know what I think yet, but we're gonna find out. Blood is great. Yeah, I thought blood would be fine. Oh, I, I looked at this and I was like, how do they get their thing back? And then I was like, oh, I get it. They don't, it comes back dead. I haven't played limited, but standard is all right. I like to hear all right. That sounds okay. Give it first strike until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. I got a jet for a bit. Have a good night, hey miss. Thanks for hanging out. Uh-oh. Are you guys having problems? Oh, no, I'm back. Good. Who's going to Vegas? Who am I gonna see in Vegas, guys? <clears throat> yeah, that's a little sad. Um, I think I have to do this, unfortunately. Negative two, negative two, huh? That doesn't help me now. So we, we want to land. This will stop one thing. Ooh, I actually like this. It'll make vampires when it flips if we have to to do the thing at the beginning of your upkeep. So if they kill it on their turn to attack, we're doing all right. I do need to find a way to kill this. This is toughness greater, which is unfortunate. This is a good blocker. Yep. Okay, we're taking this. We're still at, we're still at a decent life total. I mean, it's not huge, but it's fine. We're two mana away from casting this. We can also just do the, the retribution now. I think we're gonna do that. Okay, so I think we just retribution this when they do the thing. Yeah, these are both bombs, for sure. Like, our seal pool's good. Hopefully I run this hot in Vegas next weekend. Streamer luck, paid actors, whitelisted account. Destroy target attacking creature. This is actually going to be a bit of a problem in the end. Uh, so we want to make sure that this doesn't flip too fast. We are a little bit concerned about it. I 
I like that it gains indestructible. I'm also happy for them to kill this at some point, right? Because as soon as they do kill, kill it, we get, um, we start getting life linkers, which will make the restless blood seeker not as good. If they play a big green creature, we have the removal. If they try to remove my bomb, they'll die. We have a couple of turns. Three damage, huh? Target creature is plus two, plus two, and gains indestructible. Yes, you. The training mechanic is if when it, when this attacks, if it attacks with something of higher whatever whatever, do the thing. And so this will trigger when we get to like three, I think. It has three or more, so we'll no longer have a good blocker after this. Let me upkeep has three or more counters on it. It can attack as though it didn't have- Oh, it, it doesn't die. Okay, never mind. It just does a thing. That's great. Um. I wonder if they'll try to double block this. The Edgar. I don't think so. They still have a lot of stuff. if I should just let it die. Well, they're, they're not likely to be running enchantment removal, right? I actually like letting this flip here and protecting the Faithbound Judge. We're two mana away from being able to cast it for its Disturb cost. What enchantment removal is there again? I mean, you, you find it randomly on some random stuff. Like, I know this is Artifact, but it's similar, right? Similar idea. Now they could, maybe they have it. But I think that this is like pretty good EV, just like letting this die, getting... We also killed their like drain threat, which is nice. unfortunate. And exile it instead! Woof! Ouch! I bring my own army. All right, we starting to get life linkers now. Edgar Markov doing the thing. I'm actually kind of glad that it died because I'd rather, well, I was gonna say, I kind of like the, the trigger on this Edgar, but. There are four more creatures in your graveyard, transform. There is three. You can deal with my servant. I'm busy. This is not a tap ability, which is really cool. So I think we go like this. Actually let them do the thing, and then we will, if they choose to block, even if they don't choose to block, we can just discard this. Oh, I thought there was four creatures. I must have miscounted. 
there are four or more. I thought I counted four. I counted three then. Oh, this is an enchantment. I think that's what happened. I saw instant, instant, and I just think I thought that was an enchantment. Ugh. Well, oops. I said three, and then in my head, I thought there was four. Or what maybe what I thought happened is maybe I think I thought this was three to trigger. That could be. Sorry, wolf. You got a big butt. I think you just got ahead of yourself. It's fine. I know it's fine. I think I thought this was three. Like... Oh, oh my god, and he gets to attack? That's so nuts. So good. Get him. Get him. And it makes the thing. Oh, so good. I'm so glad we opened this card. This is what a happy nerd girl looks like? Yeah, casting Edgar Markoffs and crushing people. Ew. Of course, of course. Ew. No, I don't think I want to keep this. Two land is a bit rough with no white here. This is If this was a three drop, I probably would. But we get a free mulligan, so... Adamant Will's pretty easy pitch, I think. And I like the draw. We're a 16 land deck, so we're happy to keep a three here. Um, play double white, because we do have the Ajani fake card. Ajani plus plus, right? So we play double white just to make sure. Go here and here. That thing's kind of nuts. It's a sorcery speed, so I'm about drawing extra cards here. No, no, no. Stop it. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Bad, blade trainee. Okay, that thing is good. Huh. I could just kill it. But I kind of like this and attacking next turn. And next turn we could do all three of these technically, or two and pitch. Okay. Okay. Oh, that dies to this. That's nice. Whoa! Sick! Sick turn! That was great! That was fantastical. Okay. So, I think what I want to do is destroy a thing with toughness four or greater. I think I want to destroy this thing. And then I think I want to attack you. Train. We're doing it. We bouncy bounce. We can hold this open if they decide to attack us, and if not, we'll just repitch this uh, this swamp here because we don't uh, don't need it. I would like to draw more permanents. So we're a sixteen land deck. Our curve tops out at five. Or I'm sorry, at four. So we literally don't need anything else. Destroy target. Oh shit! I did not keep the black open here, so we can't do it. I don't know why I left double white open. That's fine. Certainly not ideal. Okay, well, we won't make that mistake again. That's actually a lie. I will probably make it several times.
Mill three cards, huh? I wonder if I should kill this for the exploit purposes. Dies, you may exile it. When you do, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, huh? I mean, it's unfortunate, but we're gonna have to do it anyway. Okay. Zombie, human. Um. I'm gonna take action because we can recast it. Every target creature or planeswalker create a blood. I'm really surprised they did that. They just must have oodles of removal. I mean, that was a free card. I'm kind of bummed that we drew uh, planes to back it up. Intoxicated, thank you so much. Okay, you get some life. Um. I can just cast this, I guess. But then they can use this to get it back, which is a problem. Exile Bramble Burn from your graveyard, you gain five life. Okay. How am I gonna kill them? That comes into play tapped. When you do, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. They have 20 cards. Creature you control die. I don't want them to just recast this right now. How are we getting out of this? That's how. I think I just wait until I get one or one more removal spell or something, and then... These are, these are interesting games so far. So I, I dig that. They're not pitching things, which is interesting. I guess this is fine. They're gonna get their worm back. That's okay-ish. We can make it into a five something. I could send the groom after it. I think that's probably pretty good.
Yeah, and then now the groom will die. But then we go wide. We transform, we get more at, more aggressive creatures. I am doing well. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? And then we kill this. It's not a vampire, right? Neg two, neg two, kill your stupid worm. I don't know why they're not blocking with the persistent specimen and just bringing it back. Okay, that's fine. I, mean, I kind of like it on the lifelinker, I guess. I don't know if we have blood tokens, but we want to keep these. I know there's that creature that we have that wants us to pitch cards, but that's already dead. As I punted, but... They can start redrawing, they can start gaining life. Edgar's gonna go nice and wide. There are a few exile cards in black, right? There's the one that's negative 13, negative 13. Um, and a few others. I think that's the only thing that... Uh, Edgar's gonna be weak to. Oh, hello! Two of my two life-linking cards on the battlefield. What a beautiful day. This card is a bomb, it's just not a bomb in our deck. It's like... Oh, well, they just used this on the other creature instead of on the Edgar, which is great. I dig it. Whenever I have this, another non-token zombie dies. Whoa, that's a great combo. Man, I'm just yeah. fucking drawing yeah. bombs. Bombs all day. Uh, this does mean I probably want to play a land, just in case. I feel like this is where they should scoop. But alas. This card's kind of neat. They can make two zombies and replay this? That's a lot. I'm not a huge fan of that. Pass. I bring my own. the bramble onto that it's kind of weird but it's fine they're gonna make some zombies that's fine we're gonna gain some life uh board clears there's a white one i don't remember if there's a black one so i'm probably gonna just hold the writer A lot of bombs, guys. <laughs> I feel like I got extremely lucky for my very first sealed pool here. Seems like a great hand to me. Curves for days. Our deck doesn't have a lot of vampire synergy, doesn't have blood synergies, doesn't have lifelink synergies. <laughs> Minor, but it does have bombs. Thank you so much, Prime Sub, for four months. Thank you for the support, hon. Really do appreciate it. Arts. Hey, you got it, trainee.
went from always 03 to 33 and a 53 draft today following your advice. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Uh Goldie Well. Glad to hear that the uh, the content's coming in handy for you. Let's see what you got. I mean, I'm kind of fine to just let that die. Right, guys? Next turn, we can play a three drop and adamant will, and like, that's just not a great creature. So. This card is decent, though, right? Whenever you gain life. Okay, wait, never mind. That's the, the one that gains lifelinks. Kind of whatever. Eh. I guess we should do this one just in case they decide to remove something. Decline. I would not like to sacrifice a blood token. I would like to redraw one land. Thank you very much. Holy smokes! <laughs> gosh that is a heck of a raid guys I kind of want this thing to flip but I also kind of want it the other thing I, I kind of want this to die too I don't know if I want to do the adamant will or not I think I will just do this uh, guys big hype Um, thank you so much for coming in with this big raid. Welcome to the channel, guys. Uh, for those of you guys who are coming in, I really appreciate it. Um, we are currently in our first sealed. I decided not to stream the set yesterday because of all the crazy stuff that was going on with the client. But yeah, welcome, welcome. We have a minimal synergy bomb deck. We've got some sweet stuff, um, including Edgar Markov and the uh, white, white, colorless flying mythic that gives your opponent a very short clock. We'll say no blocks, see if he gives it lifelink. No, well, let's just kill it. Uh, welcome, thank you so much for the first time sub. So we are going to be playing, uh, you know, limited all night long. We're getting ready for Vegas. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, if you have any questions about me or the content, don't hesitate to ask, all right, guys? Exploit. Scry one draw. That's a good exploit target for sure. What, uh, what was day nine playing? Also, guys, again, thank you so much, Day9. I really appreciate you. You guys are amazing. I mean, I'm kind of fine for either of these to die. I want to transform the farmer. He was playing Demir Control, some constructed, I see. Okay. Hmm, I don't know. We start playing around a board clear? I think the answer is no. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Welcome, welcome, guys. So, uh, yeah, my name is MTG Nerd Girl. For those of you guys who have not seen me before, uh, I play a fair amount of limited. You guys might have seen me on, um, I guess one time when uh, Day9 was doing some commentary stuff, I played in the Invitational. I've been on game nights and loading ready run. I've done a ton of fun stuff. This thing will eat one thing. 
This thing will trade. We'll get in four damage. Eats this, trades here. War trades here, gets in. We don't have a ton of drain, which is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna wait a turn. So this is the flying, which is makes these two things not great attacks anymore, but that's fine. I can't imagine that they're going to try to race us here, especially when we've got the lifelinker on board. Adamant Will is a great option here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to send. Uh, they might eat something with this, but we all get to eat with the eat the monstrosity. And that should just be big game for us. Unless they have another removal spell, which they are actually kind of likely to have. Then it feels kind of bad. This might suck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess it is just lethal, though. If we just go for it, actually. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whenever this or another zombie. This is a zombie. So I guess we do this. And if they if they remove it in response, then we can scry. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much. This would have been a good card for the last time when we were locked down forever, but we'll take this. Two drop, three drop. All right, hello, first striker. I would not like to exploit, thank you. It is to be a race. Um, I kind of want to go Thrabian uh, Ghoul here into Desperate Farmer, attack with the Ghoul. Uh, I think they're likely to hold open the first striker at this point. Um, then we maybe just don't attack and progress with the, the Griff. They have their own Farmer. You got it. So maybe the correct play instead is the Griff? Well, they might have removal. Let's just, let's do the farmer. We want to make sure this gets going. Nice, you got gems back instead of uh, the gold that you used to enter. That's amazing. Plus, hopefully you got to keep the cards that you drafted, maybe. Very cool, guys. All right, well... First striker is getting troublesome. But next turn, uh, we are actually one away. The cleave cost is going to go up as well, although it is an alternate cost. You guys, huge freaking raid. Thank you again so much. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for coming in. Wow, they have this thing too? Sweet.
They're progressing the board, so I feel like maybe it's fine that we do the same. I don't know if they can attack us very well. I've been meaning to check out the stream at some point. Glad I'm here now. Awesome! Hell yes! Thank you, thank you. Alright, so this is whenever a creature dies, if you gain more than three life in a turn. So if they attack with a just desperate farmer, this thing will flip. Gains death touch. I mean, that's not the scariest thing in the world. But. Valorous Stance, huh? These are good cards to have access to. Um, I really don't want to flip this, though. Are we just happy to just dirtle here? Just make them answer the griff at some point? Sure, after this game hunt, I will uh, take a look at the deck list again. This feels fine. We got combat tricks for days. Exploit. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay, okay, I, I'm fine with this. So they do the thing. This is a zombie. If we get rid of this, we can look at the top card. We get to flip our thing. Feels fine. Take action. Drip, drip, slow kill. Hey, man. I take wins where I can get them. make this trade to trigger a counter on the uh, voice bless, then we can just kill it with the Valorous Dance, which feels fine. Also, I cannot believe they sacked the Thalia. I mean, that makes sense, I guess, considering this one does life gain stuffs, but like, decline? Decline? I would not like to put that in my graveyard. Resolves. Resolves. Sure. So now we're just gonna we're gonna stance this. Goodbye. Ah, oh, they're gonna stance the stance. Wow. Okay. I am surprisingly fine with this. Here we are. Get stanced on? Yeah. Happens. First time it's happened this time. Goodbye forever thingamabob.
attacking me for four, you say? What does this thing do? Protection from vampires, huh? No blocks. Okay, so I'm okay to attack with the lifelinker trigger on here. What does this do on the backside? Enchant creature has flying lifelink protection from vampires and gets plus X plus X where X is the number of permanents. Holy shit. Spirits and enchantments, huh? Okay, well, here we are. Training, training. We'll, we'll be able to double train again, which is going to be sweet. surprised they chose not to block with this just because the backside seems so valuable but um you know if i do have a removal spell that's pretty whatever all right that's a little unfortunate oh they're gonna they want to race okay six seven eight i mean that's that's a scary race to be sure but we get some life gain Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Discard if you th did a thing. You gain one life. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow. Raid from Ollie. Hell yes. Welcome, welcome, guys. Training, training, training. Six, seven, eight. This doesn't trample or anything. I mean, this seems okay. Uh, for those of you guys coming in from Ali Eldrazi's stream, big welcome. Thank you guys so very much for coming in. Uh, we are currently in our first event of the new set. Also, Ollie, I don't know if you're still here, but we were planning on doing a call. How much later do you think you're gonna be up? It's really interesting they keep attacking with this. I'm certainly not complaining, but Adamant Wheel seems great here. Destroy target creature, it gains indestructible. This they might not be dead here, actually. <laughs> no, they are dead. <laughs> but I probably should have counted. <laughs> Just to be safe. <laughs> Cause I would have been pretty close to dead on the crackback. I just kind of went after it. I will wake up special for you. Wow, this is bad, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. I only have like two removal spells. Feels real weird getting rid of them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them. I'm greedy. All right, Ollie, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys again for the raid. Uh, for everybody who's here from either day nine or from Ollie, again, if you have any questions about me or the content, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I've been around for a minute. Hey, Vela, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. You are awesome. All right, we, hit, we need to hit a land, right? I kept a two drop into a three drop uh, draw spell on the draw here with the black mana. So I'm just confident we're gonna hit a third land in three draws. And then in a pinch, we can play the decision
I'll make the trade. They, they want to play a creature this turn and then next turn suit it up. We're hoping we get uh, a white land. Ooh, bad. Okay. block. I was saying tramples. I didn't actually know it trampled. I'm a damage to a player. Okay. That guard's decent. <clears throat> huh. This is not going well. This is fine. Any advice for drafts? Right now I'm going... For the highest rarity, uh, yeah. So it depends what your goal is, right? If you're trying to rare, if you're trying to draft to get a better value for your cards than buying packs, which is true, even if you are bad at drafting, um, then yeah, rare drafting is correct. Now that's going to completely depend on uh, on you and whatever it is that you know your goals are. If you're trying to get better at drafting, I do have like a couple of YouTube videos that give you like five tips for getting better, five tips for like collection building. Um, I also recommend like picking a YouTuber that you enjoy, that you think is educational when they're drafting, and then watch the first 20 minutes of their draft because they'll talk, hopefully, if you know they're any good, they'll talk about their process, explain why a card is good or bad. Um, and then you don't have to watch the gameplay if you already know how to play Magic, you know, because of Constructed, if you're pretty competent. Um. Do you have any uh, any of those draft videos on YouTube? Yeah, so the videos I was talking about are all YouTube. Um, this is rough. Uh, and then exclamation YouTube guys gets you there. Uh, I also do limited set reviews, so you guys could do quick drafts and then you guys can take your time, read my thoughts on the cards. Uh, another thing you guys can do is download untapped which is a really cool overlay that uh, you know shows you ratings on the cards. They used to be mine, but they are now uh, LSV's ratings. So they are very good. I highly recommend them. This one is gonna get to put counters elsewhere. Next turn we can play, we can do the uh, retribution. I want that because we want to cast both of these probably. Yeah, if you use that untapped uh, extension link there, guys, it'll just take you to the overlay. It's pretty sweet. I really do recommend it. Um, when you're, you can turn on a little toggle and while you're drafting, uh, it'll come up with a rating like zero to five because I think that's LSB's. Mine used to be one to five. And then you just draft looking at those scores. Um, it is free. There is a premium version which will allow you to do some other stuff, but I'm gonna hope that they don't have a combat trick because I really need them to not be able to attack for a turn. Them not having removal here is pretty sweet. I'm hoping they just, I wanna get the combat trick with this is what I need to do. It's a little unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I'm gonna lose some life. Life gain is good. We're gonna need that. Their deck is quite good, very aggressive. Her explanation of MTGA 
economics videos are great as well. Stop wasting money. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. I think we can stabilize, yeah. Depending on where they put this plus two plus two, we've got the retribution for it. We're, we might take a little bit of a beating, but we also have this lifelinker and we'll be able to play a three, three next turn to stabilize and that will feel pretty good. In control target creature until end of turn it gains, okay. So we're gonna go to one here. And then next turn, I don't think they can actually attack. Right? Because we get this back, and they didn't play a creature this turn. Plus, we get to play the lifelinker. Oh, they had a one drop! Much sadness. We have to play this. And I have to hope, 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 that they don't have it. I also need to redraw. Mm hmm. Don't have it. Don't have it. Do you play much paper magic? I mean, I used to. I've used to do a lot of competitive magic back in the day, mostly uh, limited Grand Prix and such. I've played on the PT. I I've done the Invitational. That's not paper technically, but uh, you know, I travel for tournaments when possible. Okay, so that's on there. You got it. A little sad. So that means I do need to double chump. Unfortunately. You could have discarded the... to flip. I still can. Oh, wait. The beginning of your end step. Ooh, good call, good call. I didn't know it was at the end step. I thought it was when you discard. So that was my mistake. I also could have done this on my turn as well for another reason. Just to, um... Ooh, yeah, that was rough. You're right. This would have been a good trade, and then we have a 3-3 to block. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a huge mistake. I thought it was when, it, when you discard, you flip. That's what I get for not paying attention! Also, guys, we mulliganed that game and got stuck on two mana forever, and we were still, like, pretty close to stabilizing there. I think we actually could have if I just didn't punt. I mean, yeah, this is fine. I'm probably keeping this. How do you find your win rate? Yeah, you can use the untap.gg overlay. Um, that will keep track of your win rate for both uh, each particular deck that you're playing, as well as, oh, we just got rared on on the play. Unfortunate. Um, particular decks as well as limited, so that's good. So if you guys would like to, to use untapped, there's a link there that actually supports the channel. It's a completely free uh, thing, so, you know, no stress. It does have like a paid feature, but I never recommend that. How long will the sealed draft? Well, draft will be up for always, but um, sealed draft will not be. Oh, this is a pain. This is rough. Like I hate missing this, this many lands back to back in two games here. Um, but yeah, sealed is usually up for a few weeks. Oh. Nice. This is some amazing synergy from our opponent here. I need white mana, guys. Oof. 
tad bit unlucky, I think. Just a smidge. Ooh, that's a zombie, huh? We don't want to block that. We want to if we if we block that, we block the headless horseman, I guess. I didn't even notice what our life total was going to be. Decline. Please give that to me. Thank you. Or okay, this is all right. waited, but if they have a removal spell, we just die, right? Like, if we don't attack, we just die. Zombie. This thing has death touch as well. Six toughness. I guess this is going to be six toughness sooner. But this is a non-token, so we want that dead. Now I kind of need, ooh. I mean, I guess that's fine-ish. Indestructible, gain some extra life. So we're gonna go, this is a four, five, six. It's cutting it pretty close. Enters the battlefield, make a thing. Sacrifice, you gain some life. I wonder if they're gonna... Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense, putting it on that. Certainly makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if I should just take this in hopes of being able to cast I don't think so, actually. I think we destroy the Death Toucher. It's kind of tough. I don't like it, but this thing might outgrow them. This is going to transform, actually. Maybe I should have waited. Ooh, that's gross. I don't like that at all. I was really hoping they weren't going to have another creature to play there. This transforms into a 3-6 with Vigilance. That's rough. I don't want to trade this. But I could trade it here. I guess I shouldn't have cast it. This is gonna be a tad rough. Exploit draw, right? Hey, Twisted Fairy Tale. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. I really appreciate the support. You are awesome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I have no cards in hand. So can we afford to take six and kill this? All right, well, maybe we don't even take six. Maybe we go... Ugh. Yeah, that's fine-ish. Other creatures you control have vigilance. This drains. We need to kill this. So we're going to gain a bunch of life here.
And we'll have a 3-3 left, which will still stonewall most of these things. I need a bomb, guys. I just need a bomb. Just one. That's all. We can't take both of those. So maybe the answer is like this? Take three? Or maybe I double block. No, that's not. I can't be right. out my 16 land deck after putting two lands in the graveyard. Alright, well we did get stuck on land two games in a row here. Um, you know, we were stuck on black for that entire game. Um, yeah, 4-0 turns into 4-2, but they were kind of non-games here. Stuck on 2, stuck on 3, and all black both games, so that's fine. What draft queue is this? This is neither draft. This is, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with this. Uh, this is a sealed. We're practicing for Vegas, and this is my first event of the uh, of the thing. All right, we didn't miss. Thank goodness. Uh, the vault is a thing that happens when you open a another copy. If you control a werewolf, that's pretty darn good. Holy smokes. I'm a little bit behind here. I can do this just in case. So the vault is when you open a fifth copy of a common or an uncommon, you get 0.1 or 0.3% of your vault, and then eventually you get to crack it and you get a little bit of a bonus. We're stuck on three again, right? We missed our fourth land drop here. Um, and also I think this turn, we actually can do nothing. It kind of covers really well that, uh, whenever a crasher or another werewolf you control dies. Um, I guess I should have just stanced that actually. Um, I like the idea that I can do this on their turn. This is pretty good. This is a good turn for us. Um, we did let it turn to night and they got a replacement card out of that. Yeah, I'm gonna... And I kind of want to play this, I guess. It will decline. But I'd much rather put it in the yard and try to find a white source. But, you know, here we are. When this dies, draw a card. Dang. Okay, here we are. They've got some good card draw stuff. A 
a thousand viewers. Yeah, we've been really fortunate tonight. Uh, we've gotten some some awesome people coming in, hanging out with us. Got it. All right, hitting our white sources, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We can do it. Yeah, read that card. It's good. <laughs> There's one black removal spell that's going to get it. They also have white lockdown spells that can get it. We also have only three four drops in the deck. There's a very good reason this deck went 4-0. Um, just had a little bit of a shaky... Some shaky hand smoothing going on here. Whoa! Okay, they got the set. The set now has what? First st strike and death touch. Okay. You can draw a card. Okay. This is acceptable to me. Exodia, <laughs> right? That's a tad bit Exodia e. All right. You're large. You're not hasty though. Okay. So they can't block either of these. So that's just four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's just lethal. We just add them at will, whatever. Or we could just we have enough to just do the thing. Ooh, yeah, we do, right? We just kill a thing. And then just boop them in the snoot. Okay, this is, this is good stuffs. All right, another thing I, I'll make sure we play the planes first because we do have a double white spell. Getting them bombs, baby. Uh, another thing I would like to do, now that you guys have done that, I want a, a plus if you think it's better than Midnight Hunt, and I want a minus if you think it's worse. Oh, this was my preview card. I have a soft spot for it. All right, give me a plus if you think it's better than Midnight Hunt, and give me a minus if you think it's worse. I, so far, think it's better. Midnight Hunt got really repetitive to me. Take action. We we our curve tops out at four. We don't need anything else. Midnight Hunt was great gameplay, awesome gameplay, bad color balance. I agree 100 percent I actually enjoyed the gameplay. I get, it got really repetitive because the color balance was way too severe. And that was my my personal thing. I've never been bored of a set so quickly, but at the same time, I thoroughly enjoyed the gameplay, which is weird. Um, there's been sets I've liked much less that I still, you know, enjoyed playing. Is this? And it enters the battlefield. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. That's only one, one time. I'm kind of more inclined to kill the, the puppers while I can, right? I feel like these colors are going to definitely have a wolf.
Don't forget guys, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the follow button. I would love to have you guys come back another time. I, I mean, I could kill the thing. If they have a pump spell, I probably wish I would have. But... I might regret this. Pump spell, first strike, yeah. Could have killed it in response. But this is actually not that bad anyway, all things considered. I actually kind of like it when Edgar dies. Add two mana of any color. I haven't gotten to play this yet. This was my first event. Oh! You have two of those? Okay, well now I regret things. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. This is fine. Should have been able to kill the creature with the, the double strike. All right. Top deck mode. <laughs> All right. True top deck mode. Heroes downfall uncommon. It's not surprising, to be honest. Oh, uh, this gets indestructible, so I'm okay with this. I want to close this out as soon as possible. And plus two, plus two. We'll actually do a lot. We only uh, get punished here with the negative 13 thing. When it attacks, you may search, blah, 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 blah. Pay a bajillion, make an insect. Okay, so that's fine. We don't have a problem racing that at all. Doesn't have reach, right? We just kill them here. Great. Love to see it. Like I said, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it in between games, but it's a website that actually lets you guys enter into sort of like You know leagues where you like draft sports like sports drafts and things uh it's very similar in that like you get to draft with a set of people and you get to like play a bunch of magic and you work with a specific content creator currently i know semulin is doing it and corticals so you guys can actually play in pods with them there's like office hours you get to do training it's super cool so if you guys are interested in things like that and becoming more involved by getting to play Magic at home, make sure you just click the link and go check it out. It's uh, not a trap link, nothing happens. Um, it's like there's an entry fee similar to like drafting and then you can win your money back and then some, which is pretty neat. Like that card at all. This might be our last uh, last game here. I'm not actually sure. this is fine. If I was gonna do that though, maybe I should have cast the Fang. 
When it enters the battlefield, create a... Oh, that's neat. Okay. They still get training off of this, which is a little tilting, but fine. We could try to draw. We can do these things. This is sorcery speed, unfortunately. Both of these are. Um, drawing's a bit risky. If we had an extra black, I probably wouldn't, but our opponent's also stuck. So maybe this is just good enough. How is sealed different than traditional or premier draft? So sealed is when you take six packs, open them, build a deck. Uh, draft is where you like open a pack, pick one card, pass it around. And then you do that until the pack is gone. And then you do it again, pass it in the other direction. Okay, laid to rest. You got it. Whenever a human you control dies, draw a card. A creature you control with plus one, plus one counter on it dies, you gain. That is a human. So is this good enough? For one red mana, what can they do? I don't think they can do much. Hmm, there's a stick here. Clearly they can. Okay. It's just two for two. Which is fine. They get to draw, which is nice. I kind of forgot that there was a shock in the format, to be honest. Actually great. This has haste, so I'm really glad I'd rather kill the, the thing that gives them stuff, right? This is a better target. And they also let me do this. They're gonna get to draw so many stinking cards though. Holy shit. drawn any of my bombs yet though so we're like not dead here we're doing just fine they're gonna just out draw us though I'm okay with that action. We don't need that. Whoa, okay. That's some good damage they've got, and they're gonna have to draw for each one of these. That's impressive. Here we are, though. Ouch. Okay, come on. Okay. All right, it's gonna land. You got it. There's no stick here, so we are safe to cast our thing. And drawing into that was great. And we have protection for it, which is even more great. They're gonna get to draw, but this is gonna be tough for them. I'm gonna have to draw two more lands if I wanna use it as a win con, and I've put Two lands in my yard. Amy's very upset. Goodness gracious, my dear. What is wrong? My dearest ham. This is like really pretty art. I love this Crimson Vow art.
after this game, guys, win or lose, I'm gonna take a quick break. I just want to draw which is okay-ish human werewolf not paying attention oh I knew that was gonna happen once <laughs> I just saw an x2 and I was like all right kill the thing damn it that's hilarious We could just be dead with a pump spell here. Plus two, plus two, we're just dead. I'm so dumb. Hey, that's a great card. What did I get? Was it a good card? A Scorpid. This has Vigilance. Oh god, this is a 6-6! Six, six. Oh no! Attacks each combat if able. Oh no! As reach. I'm gonna need to outdraw this team. I need them to draw nothing, and I need to draw some stuff. Oh no. Okay, here we are. We're just living in this world now. But that said, we could trade here. Oh no, Hamlet guard. Okay, so we're gonna trade here and then do the thing. If we top deck a creature, we're not dead dead. No, we are dead dead because we can't actually do this now. Oh no, come on, 16 land deck, don't do this. Dang it. You know what'd be really cool? If I could remove the Vanguard <laughs> with my stew I would have had a pump spell that I wouldn't have had to use to kill the stupid vampire because it was only a three something, a three two. And I would still have the stinking removal spell to kill the vanguard. I would have won that game by a mile. Ugh. I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. I couldn't make this content without you. Also to Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves for supporting the channel as well. Definitely check them out and use our discount codes to support the channel.